Roughly 15,000 nurses across Minnesota could go on strike later this month. North Memorial Health Hospital in Robbinsdale is one of the places that could feel the impact. Delane Cleveland joins us now with more. Delane? Shannon, the Minnesota Nurses Association made the announcement this morning that they would go on strike for three days beginning Monday, September 12th. The potential strike is believed to be the largest private sector nurses strike in U.S. history. They need to see it as the crisis that it is. Uh, we, we've said over and over that this isn't something we do lightly. Um, but we're not, we're not going to just sit back and do nothing. We can't. Mary Turner is the president of the Minnesota Nurses Association and an intensive care nurse at North Memorial Health Hospital. Turner says that more than 40% of North Memorial nurses have left since the onset of the pandemic. Nurses in the Metro have negotiated with hospital executives for more than five months, but the two sides remain far apart on issues such as wage increases and staffing levels. The nurses union hopes that the next 10 days will bring about some type of resolution. This is a somber day. I, we can't, if you think we're, we're yay or, you know, this is yip yip for us, it's not, okay? We are devastated that we have to go to these extremes. Meanwhile, the hospital groups issued a joint statement this morning that said in part that the union's continued demand for wage increases of more than 30 percent remain unreasonable, unrealistic and unaffordable. To read the statement in its entirety, you can go to our website at ccxmedia.org. In Robbinsdale, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The number of young children fully vaccinated against COVID-19 remains low compared to the rest of the population. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, just 40% of kids ages 5 to 11 have completed the two-dose series, and only 10% are considered fully up-to-date and fully boosted. Reporter Sonia Gowen spoke with a Hennepin healthcare doctor about the benefits and potential side effects of young children getting vaccinated. This is the pediatric dose for ages 5 to 11. Many doctors are encouraging parents to include COVID-19 vaccines during their child's back-to-school well-visit checkups. Kids pass things along to one another very well. Um, so we do expect we're probably going to see rises in rates for COVID. Okay. Hennepin Healthcare pediatrician Dr. Leslie King Schultz says while children are as likely to get COVID-19 as adults, kids are less likely to become severely ill but there are still fatality risks. There's an estimate about one child is dying every day of COVID around the country. You're going to feel a little poke in your arm. The doctor says there are several reasons to vaccinate young children. One, of course, is to protect the child. Um, and we do see children even through this summer that have been hospitalized. But the other reason to vaccinate children is to protect the people around them. Parent Sasha White says she didn't think twice about vaccinating her eight-year-old daughter. I think that was the safest thing to do and to keep her away from any COVID, you know, and they always got vaccinated when they was kids, so why not now? According to the Minnesota Department of Health, kids in Hennepin County are ahead of their peers when it comes to vaccinations, but it's still low compared to the rest of the population. For kids ages 5 to 11, just over half have completed the two-dose series. For kids 4 and under, it's only 5%. Doctors say parents can feel assured when considering vaccinations for their children. The COVID vaccine for young children, um, as it has been for older kids, is very safe. We have not seen serious consequences or side effects from it. The Hennepin Healthcare Brooklyn Park Clinic is offering COVID vaccines for infants, children, and adults, but you have to make an appointment. For more information, log on to our website, ccxmedia.org. In Brooklyn Park, Sonia Goins, CCX News. The City of New Hope celebrated the retirement of one of its longtime police officers. Sergeant Marty Williams is retiring after nearly 30 years with New Hope Police. CCX News caught up with Williams in 2018 when he helped patrol Minneapolis streets when the Super Bowl came to town. Williams says he went into policing because he wanted to be a role model. We asked him how policing has changed in the last couple of years after the George Floyd incident and increased public scrutiny that followed. You get some heat in the media and, you know, you have some groups that are, try to point out just a negative. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I get more compliments and uh, words of encouragement from the public more ever now than when I started. 
Sergeant Williams says one of his career highlights was training the next generation of police officers as an advisor for the New Hope Police Explorers program. The Minnesota State Fair has a popular new beer that conjures up Minnesota Twins 1991 World Series memories. The favorite so far seems to be Ron Gant was out, which we've got here at the Ballpark Cafe. It's a light pale ale, 4.5% uh, with citra hops, real easy drinking beer. If you're a Twins fan, you probably get that reference from the 91 World Series. Game two, Ron Gant came off the bag. Herbeck may have helped him a little bit, but tags him out. It's beer, baseball, and Brooklyn Center at the fair. Surly Brewing made four beers at its Brooklyn Center facility that are served only at the state fair. Surly says its Brooklyn Center location is where ideas come to life. But Brooklyn Center is really kind of our R&D innovation brew house, uh, small batch stuff, anything barrel aged. Uh, and you know that includes the, the fair stuff being small batch innovation. Saturday is National Cinema Day. It's a day where you can go to the Imagine Willow Creek Theater in Plymouth to see any movie for $3. It's a celebration of movies and going out to the movies basically. I mean it's, it's trying to get people back to going to the theater and the theatrical experience of going to the theater. So it's, it's, it, we're trying to make it like you know affordable and a fun just celebration of movie theaters in general. Tim Holly says it's the first time Imagine Theaters has observed the special day in an attempt to get people back out to the movies. In addition to $3 tickets that are good for any theater in any format at any time, you can also get any size of popcorn and soda for $3.